Hey guys, and welcome to part two of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Let's Play. It's been a couple of hours since the last recording session. I, uh, I had lunch. I had actually had a nice pizza, nice pepperoni pizza. Yeah, I'm very basic like that. I, it's my favorite type of pizza, just flat pepperoni. A bit spicy, which I like. I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, now we're supposed to go to Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom on the third floor. So uh, let's head over there. It's a uh, Sunday today. It's nice and sunny out. Harry, defense against the dark arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. Just realized it's a bit loud. Turn it a bit down. Uh, it's nice and nostalgic playing a Harry Potter game on a Sunday afternoon. Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, You'll get a key that will allow you to open... So yeah, this is one of the things that is part of the 100% completion of the game. Um, like I said before in the last part, I'm gonna try to make it through the the entire list of uh, wizard cards. So that I, we can make it through this door. And I think this door leads to the final challenge, where you get the gold wizard cards that we... you I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Um, so yeah, but that's for much later on. For now, we're just gonna get on with the class, get some beans, and enjoy the beautiful music composed by the great Jeremy Soule. He's the composer for this game, and the, and the Elder Scrolls series, so Oblivion and Skyrim. He also did Guild Wars uh, 2, I think, and the Knights of the Old Republic. And the first two Harry Potter games, maybe even the third one, I don't remember. Anyway, he's a great composer. You where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, oh, well, damn. I Jump scare. I want to ask Mr. Harry Potter had a broken, irreplaceable antique. You could just cast Reparo on it. <laughs> Blood hole. student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. I think she did. It just fell. I didn't remember the basilisk popping in this early in the game. That's interesting. Hearing voices won't get you off. <laughs> won't get you off. I feel really bad for, for Filch, because, you know, he's, he's an asshole, but come on. We both know that magic would make his job so much easier. And he's forced to walk around the school all day, every day. He doesn't have any magic. Um, and he just has to clean everything. Look, you, you saw back there, he had a broomstick. The poor man. Like, magic could accomplish his job so much easier. He just has to do it by hand. It's just unfair. Very unfair. To defense against the dark arts. My thing makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I, I wonder if there's a, a second place for the Most Charming Smile Award. Like, you just almost made it, but not charming enough. <laughs> ...when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. You must be first. Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now we get on to the Dance Dance Revolution part of the game, where we have to just hit arrows, like we're in a rhythm game. 
it's going to move its way around I think in the Philosopher's Stone PC game, you did it by guiding the mouse along the the form of the spell. I find this to be a bit better, <laughs> all things considered. In order to progress to the next round, ready to try? Yes, let's try. Begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, not that hard. Oh, I say that and I immediately miss it. That was bad. I wonder if I'm gonna miss out on points because of it. Very close. Oh, they just... That's so mean, Gilderoy. You could have let me off with a warning that, oh, you failed, you have to try again. I guess I have to do it again, again. Alright. Now I got it. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Thank you. Round three, begin. I'm really focused right now. If, if it's not apparent, <laughs> I guess Dance Dance Revolution got the better of me there. Fifteen. It's not a lot. And Rick to Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Uh the good old spell practice arenas, or as I like to call them, the uh, the challenge chambers. You must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. That's no... that's not an issue. They give you so much time for these. But yeah, I remember, like, everyone has made fun of this game design for the Harry Potter games in the first few, where classes involve the teachers putting Harry in these dark dungeons filled with dangerous beasts and traps where you have to be a masterful acrobat, as Harry always is, in order to complete them. That's pretty funny. A nasty little pest that like to shoot hot flame out of the... Well, at you. <laughs> you can stun them by casting with... Just they should fire on their ass. To push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause mm, something to happen. I forgot there was a lot of exposition. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. Thank you. Alright. So yeah, fire crabs. Pretty easy. You just target them, push them around, and you get the stars. There are secrets in these challenge chambers too, so make sure to be on the lookout for um, any uh, passages that might be... Uh, Might be hidden, might be hidden in wall, stuff like that. Oh no! I wanted to get over here. Oh, damn it. Can I. Can I come back down? Or do I have to go the other way? Yeah, I think I have to go the other way. Can I get rid of this one? No, I guess not. I guess I can just walk through. Oh, uh, yeah. So, challenge chambers. I remember them being more difficult in the PS2 version of the game, because these versions, like, they basically amount to obstacle courses. Um, but because the enemies never get as hard as just Harry pointing the spell and then firing it, and doing whatever you have to do to finish the, the room, uh, the challenges never get too hard. These games have always been more about puzzles, exploration, and uh, maybe some uh, some jumping challenges. 
rather than uh, <laughs> tough fighting games where you have to battle a bunch of enemies. That's probably reserved for the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game that's supposed to come out in a matter of days now, I think. It's really close. Look forward to playing that game. Looks cool. Um, I am excited, being a big fan of the of the series. Oh damn! Just stepped on the fire. You got me, crab. Wait a minute. Why are they crabs? They're basically turtles. Oh my god! I just realized this. I guess they're turtles with um with crab legs, like pincers. But, uh, yeah, I, I would call them just fire, fire crab turtles. I guess it's not a very catchy name. <laughs> I wonder if JK Rowling actually came up with them. I think she did. I think maybe Hagrid mentions them or something. She probably does. Alright, so we can do this, and then do this. We can come over here, and I think we have a wizard card here. Yep. I think that was Glenda Chittick. Yeah, I've played these games so often that I actually know the wizard cards by design. So much of a nerd I am. Then, if it's not Glenda Chittick, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Well, you know what? I have to go and see now. Yeah, I knew it! It's Glenda Chittick. Um, yeah, I've played these games a lot of times. <laughs> and then, that being said, I've never 100%ed any of them. With the exception of the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince game for the PS3. That is the only Harry Potter game, and the only game, period, that I've ever 100% completed. <laughs> so, make of that what you will. Ah, gnomes. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That mm. is a gnome Sorry about that. Really where had to have a drink of water. And where they go to deposit stolen this is where gnomes come from. It's like they're born there. <laughs> you can climb into them. Alright, <laughs> thanks for that information, Lockhart. I'll toss you back. From the hole from which you came! And then you miss. Because it's actually... The thing for throwing holes here is so finicky, I usually just do this. Yeah, I just use a flipendo to knock them in. Like that. And whenever you see a Gilderoy Lockhart portrait, you know you should hit him in the face. Because there's probably a wizard card. A wizard card? No, a chest behind it. Secret passage. So, here we go. As you can see, each time you pick up a, a, a star, you get more time. So, actually, you're, you're really never in danger of, uh, of not beating this. Unless you're just <laughs> walking around, not doing anything. Okay, just wanted to mobilize the turtle. There goes one. And there goes another. Oh. That's what you get for not being diligent. There you go. So now we come up to star number four. Yeah, exactly. Four. Oh, damn. So, we're nearing the halfway point of the chamber. Then again, you don't have to get all the stars to finish the, the chamber, you just have to get to the end and catch the completion one. But catching less stars means you get less time, and aside from that I don't know, maybe Gilderoy, Lockhart or any teacher, they give you less house points? That might be the case. 
I'm not sure about that though. Don't quote me. Uh, no. Hold on. I remember this part. That's the thing. Because of a failed recording session, I've actually played this challenge chamber before, like, um, a while ago. So, I'm kind of just repeating my process through it. Although I forget what this Lumos thing does. Oh, it does that. See, here was a secret star that you don't really need to get if you don't want to. So now you come over here. And there we go. I'm not sure how much stuff we can actually buy that's worth it. Oh, I didn't notice this last time. Uh -huh. Is there a card here? There is! Silver one. I know you can redo these challenges, or I think you can redo these challenges. Just goes to show you. You always miss something. That's what I like about this game. Like, there's you know, there's always something new you can find. Uh, unless you've 100% completed it. Um, and because I never have, you know, I keep finding new, new stuff. That's cool. I don't think we can do anything about the snail. So we just move past him. And we arrive at the... Oh yeah, this room. Okay, so we want to open all three doors. Meaning... We're gonna do the right one first. And there we have it. Another car? Just means. Yeah, I think the more easy passages, the ones that are a bit obvious, they usually don't give you cards. But the um, the ones that are more hidden, like that one back there, um, they're the ones that they reserve for the for the cards. Okay, so now we have to. There we go. Just another one. Probably more beans. But I was saying, I'm not sure how much stuff we can actually need to buy with the beans. I know, like, we'll be introduced later to um, a potion-making component of this game, which I actually find very original. Uh, and for that, you do need ingredients that do cost beans. And there's also the extra wizard cards, and, uh, and you can buy extras like Quidditch armor, uh, which is also pretty cool. Um, so there's a lot of stuff you can buy, there are a lot of traders. <laughs> traders. No, traders. Uh, you can, uh, you can trade with. So, I guess we'll see. Maybe if, maybe I'll realize that I'm actually pretty poor when it comes to beans. I'll need to grind a few. Maybe there are ways to grind beans in this game. There probably are. Like hitting the same jars or, or cauldrons over and over and over again. Huh. Here we have a... Go oh, them. Go oh, them. Okay, I'll get rid of these smells first. I think the, the thing with the Lumos is... A, the thing with the Lumos. The thing... Yeah, the thing with the Lumos is over there on the right. The secret passageway that the Lumos spell unlocks. I'll speak proper English for you. English is not my first language, but we have to make do. Have to make do. More beans. I wonder how much time I'm wasting by getting all the beans. Okay, we move along. And there we have. Obvious chest is obvious. I used to think that there was some kind of um, scalage to the to the to the chests. Like you have the the brown chests, this the black chests, and the gold chests. And I thought that the they had something to do with the wizard cards, but no. I think it's a whole jumbled. <laughs> like you get uh, wizard cards in brown chests, and then gold ones, and then there are gold ones that just have beans, like that one we just got. Uh, 
it's a bit annoying because you, you see a gold chest and you're like, oh my god, this one must be like special, some kind of really cool reward inside. And no, uh, it's just stupid ass beans. Not like a uh, Ron Weasley in the, the Goblet of Fire video game. Every time he saw a bean, he was like, a bean! Oh my god, beans! I need all the beans. The um, Call Me Kevin, the YouTuber, he actually met a a funny video making fun about that. He always had Ron say, Oh my god, a bean! <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Call Me Kevin. I like him. Used to like him. Used to watch more of his videos um, a few years ago. Now, not so much. I don't know what he's been doing lately. Moving on, always the super paranoid in this game, like, oh my god, are there secret passages? Am I missing anything? I just get pretty scared. Here we go, with star number 8 and the chocolate frog. So we're not that far from the end. We saw star number 9 over there, and I already know where number 10 is. So, um, yeah, we're pretty close. See, here's a brown card, with a brown wizard card. A brown chest with a brown uh, wizard card. <laughs> like the they did the cutscene as if we have not seen a bunch of fire crabs up until this point. I need to stop calling them fire crabs because now that I've realized that they're to me they're more fire turtles or fire crab turtles, fire fire turtle crabs, something like that. I just, I feel bad calling them fire crabs. Feels wrong. Feels reductory. Reductory? Is that a word? Let me know. Ah, there is another secret passage here. I knew it. I remember it from the last playthrough. And here we have another silver wizard card. I think that one was a. Uh, 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 what's that band's name? The Weird, Weird Sisters. That's the Harry Potter band name. So yeah, here we have the final... The final part of the challenge. Just this huge tower. And you wonder, where is the tenth star? Because the, the, the completion star does not count as one of the ten stars. Um, so you have to find all ten. And where's the tenth one? Oh, it's over there! But how who does one get there? Well, you'll see pretty soon. I actually figured it out pretty much by accident. Because... Well, I'll tell it to you. Well, because of something that's kind of related to what just happened. <laughs> These stupid turtles. See? I'm gonna keep calling them turtles. There. I think there are five on the, the ramp, but you only need to chuck four down there. Yeah, th that would be enough, I think, this level. Uh, but I'm gonna make a point of tossing all of them down there. Just for, uh, for coherence sake. I feel bad leaving, leaving the girl out here, away from her friends. And oh, there you go! And then you have to go jump inside. Ooh, no fall damage. Great. Do we have fall damage in this game? I don't think so. So, we go in here, and there's actually the star over here. But, uh, there's another thing back here. So you have to... press both of these. There's actually a gnome thing here for some reason. Oh, you were sneaking up on me. This gnome is really tiny. Are they all like this small? Oh, nailed it. And now we open the chest. And here we have another silver card. And a bunch of beans. 
Oh, we can actually... Oh, we can close it back up again. Oh, that's funny. Alright, so that is all. Ten stars. I think all the wizard cards, but then again, I missed one before. And I thought I had them all. So we might have missed one again. Uh, and we'll have to go here again later on in a future episode. If I want to catch them all, as Ash Ketchum would say. So yeah, coming up to the end. Parkour! Gotta watch out for these things. Oh, hold on. There we go. This one, which is the fastest one. And that's it, we made it! Well done, Mr. Potter! You have completed my Rick to Sempra challenge. The remaining time... I don't even remember if I did better last time. I have no idea. But yeah, 3, 5, 8, 6. Say, spell out in the comments what your scores were in Guild Roy Lockhart's <laughs> Rick the Semper Challenge. Uh, <laughs> if if someone ends up watching this, and if you actually take the time to memorize uh, how much you got in it. <laughs> I very much doubt that. Oh, who are you? Harry, the weekly handpoint ceremony is about to start. Follow me, and I'll show you where it is. It's uh, Angelina Johnson. No, I don't think Angelina Johnson was as young as Harry. And that girl looks the same age as Harry, so... Uh, we're actually not going to the House Point Ceremony yet. I'm gonna save again, because I'm paranoid about saving. It's good to see you again, Harry. For now, until I find another uh, save book somewhere in the lower castle of Hogwarts. All episodes are gonna end in the Gryffindor common room. What the hell? You have this chest again. Ah, just has one bean. <laughs> what a waste of time. But yeah, all episodes are gonna end in the common room. I actually find that pretty cozy. But, you know, while we have a minute, let's see if there is something up here. Uh, no. De definitely very barren, uh, very barren common room. No secret passages. Oh, no. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, thank you so much for watching part two. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.